Okay, time to read some open syllable words. Uh, just a reminder that we will be mixing the three different syllable types we've already learned. So these words could have any of these types of syllables. We might see closed, and remember those need to have the short vowel sound. If it's closed, it'll say the short vowel. We also might see the silent E syllables. Remember that the silent E makes the other vowel say its name, so long vowels. And then we might also see open syllables. Remember, open syllables make the vowel say its name as well. So, so long vowels for that as well. So just a reminder for this one we're working on, one vowel sound spelled with one vowel letter and then no consonant after makes it open, okay? And that will make the long vowel sound. So we're gonna have to look and decide each syllable, which type is it, and then we can think about the vowel sound and then we can read it. So lots of steps to think about as we do this. So remember if you have a paper and pencil and wanna do this with me, it will be much more fun, much more interactive. So get out whatever you need to do this with me, okay? I'll write the words up here. Remember the first words we're gonna practice are pseudo words, they're not real. So it's just for us to get practice with the patterns and what we need to do when we get to big words. Okay, so here's the first pseudo word. First thing we do is find the vowels. You can point to them if you're not writing or underline them, okay? Now we look between the two vowel sounds because remember each um, of the syllables is going to have a vowel sound. And how many consonants are between those two vowel sounds? There's only one. We haven't talked about this yet. When there is only one consonant between the vowel sounds, there's actually two different ways we can split. So with these pseudo words, we're gonna try splitting it both ways to see what it could say. The most common way to split a word like this is after the first vowel sound. So since it's the most common, we're gonna try that one first and we're gonna split after the O. I'm just gonna make this line dark, okay? So this board is getting so dirty. Let's tilt this down a little so we can see. We're gonna look at the first syllable, okay? Find the vowel, swoop, no consonant. So this is an open syllable. The sound, remember, is the long vowel sound, so it'll say O, syllable, co, okay? Wow, this board is really dirty. This side, find the vowel, swoop, followed by a consonant. That means it's a closed syllable this time. When it's closed, it says the short vowel sound. So this will say e, eh. sound e, eh, syllable, celt. Okay, so now let's put it together. First syllable, co, second syllable, celt. The word is co-celt, co-celt. Now let's try splitting it the other way. So if we were to split it, I'm just gonna rewrite the whole thing. Try to clean this board a little bit. Gotta get out my whiteboard cleaner. So now if we try splitting it the other way, so we underline the vowels. The first time we split after the first vowel, this time we're gonna split after the consonant. So it makes it different. It'll change what happens here, so watch. Now if we split here, we look at the first syllable, find the vowel, swoop followed by a consonant, it now becomes closed. When it's closed, the O will now say the short sound, ah. So this syllable says cos. Okay, so that totally changes it, cos. This one, find the vowel, swoop, followed by a consonant, also closed. So another short vowel, eh, syllable, elt. So now if we put this together, it's cos, elt, cos, elt. So the first time we did it, it was coselt. The second time, coselt. So when we get to words like this that have an open syllable, we kind of got to try both and see which one sounds right. Obviously, neither of these sound right because it's not a real word. So we're just trying it for practice. But when you do have a real word, most of the time you can listen and see which one sounds like a word that you've heard before. Okay, let's try the next one. D-R-I-S-A-G, okay? So first thing we do is find the vowels, point to them or underline them if you're writing. Look between the vowel sounds. How many consonants? Again, just one. So we're gonna try splitting it two different ways. We're gonna try the most common first, which is after the vowel. This is the most common way that these kinds of words will be split. So if we do this, find the vowel, swoop, no consonant, this is open. When it's open, the sound is I, which makes the syllable dry. Make sense? 
Now we go over here, find the vowel swoop followed by a consonant, close syllable. When it's closed, the vowel says ah. Syllable sag. Put it together, dry sag. The word is dry sag. Dry sag, okay? But now if we try splitting it the other way, because we got to try both, let me write my S better again. This time we're going to split after the consonant, okay? So that'll make it different, okay? We did on each side of that consonant. This time find the vowel swoop followed by a consonant, close syllable. The sound would be I this time to make the syllable driss, driss, okay? Find the vowel swoop followed by a consonant, another close syllable. Sound, a, ah, syllable, ag. So now it will say driss, ag, driss, ag, okay? So it could be either dry sag or driss ag, depending on what sounds best. Neither sound good to me because that's not even a real word. Let's do one more pseudo word. Let's make it a little trickier. Mm, that's not so tricky. That's not so tricky. I'm trying to find one that kind of combines some of our different syllables, or yeah, syllable types that we've learned. Maybe it's not going to. Let's do this one. Okay. Underline the vowels. Or point to them. Okay. Now we're going to look between the two vowel sounds. How many consonants? One, two. Now something interesting about this that I noticed. Usually we'd just split between the two. But I also know in my head that CH usually stay together to make a digraph, right? CH says ch. Now it could be possible to split between them and make it be tick han, tick han, since it's a pseudo word, it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna pretend that this is a real word and the CH needs to stay together, okay? So if that's gonna stay together, now it technically is counted as just one consonant between, so we have two ways we can split it. The most common we're going to try first by splitting after the first vowel sound. Okay, so when we look at this, find the vowel, swoop, no consonant, this is an open syllable. Sound I, syllable tie. Okay, come over here, find the vowel, swoop, followed by a consonant. This one's closed, which means that says a, ah, syllable chan. So we'd read it Tai Chan, Tai Chan, okay? But then we need to try it the other way, and this will make more sense when it's real words, but let me write this here again. So the second way would be after the consonant sound. So we're going to do after the CH this time, cover it up, find the vowel swoop, followed by a consonant, closed syllable, sound I, syllable Titch, Titch. Find the vowel, followed by a consonant, closed syllable, sound a, ah, syllable an. This time it would be titch an, titch an. Okay, so it could be tai chan or it could be titch an. Okay, you ready to try some real words? I'm going to turn my voice off more so that you can practice saying it at home without getting help. Okay, so let's try this one first. Oh, I'll let you watch so you can write it down too if you'd like. Okay, first thing, find the vowels, underline them. <coughs> Excuse me. Now look between the two vowel sounds. How many consonants? One, two. And those ones don't need to stay together, so it's okay to just split between them. Pretty easy. And if you already know this, that's okay. We're going to still practice the steps. What type of syllable is this? Hopefully you thought to yourself, find the vowel followed by a consonant. This is closed. So the A will say a. Ah. Syllable ban. Okay. This one, find the vowel. Hopefully you can tell what kind of syllable this is. There's no consonant. So it's open. You're right. Sound O syllable Jo. Okay, say it together. Van Jo. What's the word? Banjo. That's a musical instrument, kind of like a little guitar. Banjo. Okay. Let's try it. 
Try another real word. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> I'm going to be picky about the ones we do. Okay. Okay, you might already know this word, <coughs> but just pretend you don't for a minute. Find the vowels, underline them. Look between the two vowel sounds, how many consonants? Just one. So we're going to practice what we did before. There's two ways to split it. Okay? And again, when it's a real word, it's going to be easier because we're going to see which one sounds better. So the most common way is to split after the first vowel. So go ahead and do that. Let's read each syllable. Hopefully you can tell right away what kind of syllable this is because there's no consonant after the vowel. So this is open, which means the I says sound. I, syllable, by. My fingers are del deleting, erasing. Okay, hopefully you can see really quick. It's followed by a consonant, so this one's closed. Sound, O, no, 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 <laughs> sound, ah, syllable, son. Now let's see if that sounds right. First one, by, son, by, son. Does that sound like a word you've heard? Sometimes our vowels turn into kind of a schwa sound, uh. So this is actually pronounced bison. A bison is an animal like a buffalo. Okay, so that's a real word. And that would be the correct way to split it, bison. But if you didn't know and you read that and you weren't sure, then you need to try the other way as well. So we'd try splitting it after the S as well. Then it turns into a closed syllable sound. I, syllable bis. On, that's a closed syllable. On, bis on. Bisson, bisson. Have you ever heard of a word bisson? Okay, so that's not right. So we know that it needs to be split after that I to make it bison. Okay, so that's how we try two different ways. Let's do a couple more and then we'll be done with that. Let's do this one. This is probably a word you all know, but we're still going to practice. Okay, underline the vowels. Between the vowels, there's only one, so we've got to try both ways. The most common way first is like this. That makes that an open syllable sound. E, syllable, B. If it has a consonant after, it's closed. Sound, A, syllable, GAN. Say it all, B, GAN. BEGAN. You've heard that word before? So that would be the right way to split it. But if we didn't know, let's see what it would say. If we weren't sure, we'd have to try splitting it after that. Then it becomes beg an. Beg an. Have you heard the word beg an? No. So we know it needs to be began. Okay. That one made it into two closed syllables. Let's find one more good challenging word that kind of combines. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. Underline the vowels. I see three this time. Do you see something we should do? Hopefully you remember from last time. We're going to put a little V to connect those to remember it's just one vowel sound. Okay? So looking between the vowel sounds, that's the silent E, or yeah, there is how many consonants? Just one. So we need to try both ways of splitting it. The most common first we'll find to be usually true. That becomes an open syllable, so the sound is E, syllable, re. Looking over here, find the vowel, hop, hop, E at the end, silent E syllable, sound I, syllable, vise. Say it together, revise. Revise. It's a word you've heard, right? It's when you're writing and you need to go back and revise it and make it better, fix the mistakes. That's revise. The other way to split it, maybe some of you already can tell what it would be. If we were to split it after the V, it becomes a closed syllable, rev, eyes, rev eyes, revi, rev eyes. Doesn't sound right, it needs to be revise. Okay. All right, I think we have time for one more to make sure we got this. Ooh, that's a fun one. Mm, no, no, change my mind. <laughs> I want one that has a long vowel since that's what we're doing today. Okay, last one. Big word. Find the vowels. 
There's just two. Okay, look between the two vowels, only one consonant. So we've got to try it two ways. The most common after the I. Probably will be right, but let's see. We see that it's open, there's no consonant after. Sound I, syllable, sty. This does have a consonant, so it's closed. Sound e, eh, syllable, pend. Sty, pend. What's the word? Stipend. You've maybe never heard that word before. That's kind of not a very common word. Stipend is like some pe sometimes people get extra money or like teachers sometimes if they work outside of their contract hours, you get a stipend, which is like some extra money, okay? Or if we didn't know, you've never heard that before, then it gets tricky because you're like, well, I don't know what it's supposed to sound like. But if we tried splitting it that way, becomes a closed syllable, I, stip, e, end, stip end. I've never heard of a stip end, so that's not the right way to split it. Okay, I think we're good for today. There's so many words out there that you can practice. You'll start seeing words and you'll start thinking, oh man, I see a closed syllable and I see a silent E syllable, so it says invade. It's just kind of fun, you'll start noticing this one. I see these vowels, only one consonant. So it's either gonna be cremate or cremate. Cremate, you kind of have to try both. Cremate is the right word. So anyway, kind of fun. Basic, basic. Yo, 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 yo. So many fun words. Can you read it? Robot. Matrix, have you heard of matrix? Biped, locate, so much fun. See you next time.